Hi there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. If you're like me, you like data. You love data, you crave data. The more data, the better. And here at SparkFun, we've got lots of boards that can help you collect data. We've got biometric sensors, capacitive sensors, environmental sensors, movement sensors, distance sensors, imaging sensors, the list goes on. And while sometimes having immediate data is important, like what's the current carbon monoxide level in this room? For many projects, you're gonna to wanna to look at data over time. And for that, you're going to need a data logger. Well, guess what? We just happen to have a new data logger. And this is like one you've never seen before. Probably. Introducing the new SparkFun Thing Plus Dual Port Logging Shield. This board is designed and built around the familiar Thing Plus feather footprint and breakout pin arrangement. It's got an AT841 microcontroller, which acts as an arbiter and can put the shield into either SPI or SDIO mode, along with a USB 2241 USB Ultrafast USB 2.0 media controller, which supports cards up to 32 gigabytes, supports FAT32, XFAT, and NTFS formats, and offers read and write speeds up to 35 megabytes per second, depending on the card you're inserting in the push-push micro SD socket. The board also includes solder pads for an optional 24C04 I2C EEPROM. The board can be powered via the 3.3 volt pin of the Thing Plus or Feather board, the 5 volt USB-C socket, or both. The board also offers power source voltage sensing, an activity LED for SDIO thumb drive mode, a configurable power LED, and with the power LED disabled, a low, low sleep current of just 300 microamps. We know that some of you may want to mount this board on top of your Think Plus or Feather board. Others might want it mounted below, and still others might want to put it as part of a stack. Therefore, this board ships without headers. Simply choose the headers that are right for your project design, solder it up, and Bob's your uncle. Now, what separates this logger from most others is its dual port functionality. Usually, logging data is pretty easy, but when it comes time for reading that data, you've got to pop out the micro SD card, put it in your computer, and do it that way. Well, with this board, you can access your micro SD via both SPI and USB C. Say you're developing an embedded system and you don't want to, or you can't constantly pop the micro SD card in and out, and this board is going to be your solution. You can read and write the data via SPI as usual with your favorite Arduino SD library but you can also access it via USB-C to your computer. And even with the jankiest of generic SD cards, we've gotten consistent read-write speeds of 20 megabytes per second. So collect and read data your way, whichever way that is. And if you don't know which way is your way, this board lets you try out both. Head on over to sparkfun.com and pick up the new SparkFun Thing Plus dual port logging shield. And of course, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. God, I haven't said that in like a month and a half. You can read to and read to and write from. No, read from and write to, and transfer that to your computer. However, you don't have to with this board because it's got stuff here and here. Read. You can write to and read from. BC and your computer. <laughs> SD card and transfer it to, to your tip. Yeah, read and write. Let's let's stick to that.